This video here is about my typical week at school. The reason I'm doing it is because I have had such little motivation to make videos these past couple weeks that I haven't been able to put anything out. When I was really into these vlogs, I was excited to film them, I was excited to sit down and edit them. I really enjoyed uploading and then getting some sort of feedback from it. I just don't have the same drive that I did before. I believe a big... I believe a big part of that is this. Well, this is consumer behavior, but this is symbolic of a bigger, overlooming thing above my head, which is called management, or marketing and management. I have three classes right now. One's an online class, one's a night class, and one's just a regular class. All three of them drive me up the walls. It takes me about four or five hours to get through any materials in on my online class or my night class, which makes sense because it's about a week's worth of stuff condensed down to one night or just one time where everything's due so that takes up a big chunk of my weekend and it's it really just kind of zaps the happiness out of my life the point of this video is to get me motivated to film things more often like I just put out my last video and I realized that I didn't film a single thing for Halloween which is very very sad to me because I dressed up as an 80s rocker and I did a lot of really fun things at work and I just wish I filmed one thing. I got a couple of fun pictures about it but I don't have any really good video. So, let's take a look here. Today is Sunday, November 12th. I have a interview at Career Services. I have six environmental pictures due that I should have done over the course of the past two weeks, which I did, so I just need to edit those and turn those in. I have a quiz in my packaging class. Very light week in comparison to other weeks. You know, all sorts of fun stuff. All sorts of fun stuff. Stuff. I'm so I'm just so I'm tickled. I'm tickled about it. Semester's almost over. And then I'm down to one semester and then I graduate. And then hopefully I hopefully I would have uh, found a job by then. So really the purpose of this video is to try to give you an accurate representation of what a week in my life is like currently. Sunday night doing some last minute preparation for Monday morning. Really all that it, all that means is just gym stuff ready so that tomorrow morning I can just wake up, throw that on, and get out the door to get to get to boot camp. Week starts now. Morning. Current time is 6.25. I'm a little late, kind of slept in. Not late for class, but uh, definitely lagging behind. Okay, I'm not gonna bring my phone in to record because I feel like that would be wildly inappropriate, so I'm just gonna leave you guys right here. Be back in a bit. Okay. Oh, first time you get to see my face this morning. Hi. Boot camp was fun. Today was uh, apparently leg day. We had to put these like rubber band things on our thighs and do all these squats and do all these like lunges and shuffles. It's good, I feel good. I like doing this because it wakes me up in the morning, I feel better throughout the week. Now we're heading home to get ready for my first class. I don't normally eat breakfast, but for the sake of the vlog, to make it look like I eat breakfast on a daily basis, I'm gonna make a sandwich. I also make this milk Nesquik protein shake combination after boot camp. I don't know if like this stuff actually, you know, helps build muscle or helps put energy back into my body, but hey, worth a shot. That and it tastes pretty good. Time to go to my first class, which is graf Ugh. graphics career development. Most of the time, I would take my electric skateboard, but it's dead. I think it got just a little too wet out when I was at work. Some water got up into it, kind of fried it. Rest in peace, good buddy. So today we're gonna drive. 
Bye, Owen. I love you, bud. Today is absolutely one of those days where I wish that I had like a doppelganger or a twin that could just go in my place. Because if I could just go to work and not have to deal with any of uh, responsibilities that I have today, I would. And it's all related to school. Like right now I don't want to go to class and talk to my classmates about a project that no one in our group really cares about. After that I gotta go talk to my advisor because my enrollment thing's kinda messed up. And then I have to go do an interview at Career Services, which means I gotta come home and change a little bit. I'm pretty sure they don't want me showing up in uh, blue jeans. So fun. And this is the main reason why I don't like driving. Parking. There's not always a ton of spots and sometimes it's a really tight fit. <sighs> okay, so the first class is done. I was able to talk to my group about our presentation. It took 15 minutes. Uh, so now I'm gonna go talk to my advisor. Hi, Miss Pagani. Hi. Okay, sat down with my advisor, talked it out. We have two classes, two possible classes that could work. I both qualify for that I can get this degree in if it's in my time schedule. Really hope these work. If it was just me going after this, honestly, I would say I don't care anymore. I don't want to deal with trying to get into this class and then try to deal with the headache of the actual class itself for this final semester for a marketing minor. I really, I don't really care that much. Or the person that really motivated me and pushed me to get this marketing minor was my mom. And I love my mom dearly. She believes that getting this minor is going to do great things. It's very it's uh, very influential, very helpful. It's going to look great on my application. It's going to look great on my resume. She believes that 100%. And my mom has given me everything. She has tried everything in her power to give me everything that I could possibly need to succeed in life. So I will try 100%, no question. I will try to get into this class to get that minor. No matter what. Uh, right now we got a, a, a bit... What are you doing? Right now I got a break in between things I need to be doing. I don't need to be anywhere for another mm, two hours. Which is great. I'll probably end up going to work a little bit early. But uh, just gonna get some lunch first. Hi Griff. I have way too many animals. That being said, if you want an orange cat with almost no tail or a black and white cat that loves to be outdoors, please leave a comment down below. I'm not joking. After I graduate, I don't know where these guys are going to go. I love you. I'm stuck with you. You ain't going anywhere. I'll never think I got you guys in the vlog. That's Kaylin. That's Lydia. He's vlogging. Oh. Hannah. Do you have a YouTube channel? That's Hannah. I have the vlog in my intro. So, my mentor, my friend, oh, my buddy, uh, Larry, he is the... Uh, he's the one that had like if I have any questions about really just like any engraving questions He's the he's the guy I talked to um, but he's out for a little bit I mean I could text him and ask him but there's just like a lot of things like it's just I don't know where this file is And they're due this Friday <laughs> What is this? Banana bread? No, it's pumpkin. Kylie Jenner pumpkin story. Bread. This is apple bread. This is pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread. Did you make it yourself? I did. Honest review though. Well, that's really good. <laughs> Win for Kaylin. You shouldn't have told me about this. I'm going to eat it all. If Kaylin ever offers you bread that she made, <laughs> I recommend eating it. It's good. I'm 
not sure what that little dot is right there. It won't come off. I think I'll make one more. All right, now to walk across campus and do this thing. Oh. Done. Uh, she said I did a really good job, that I answered questions fully. Flubbed at the end is when she said, I was like, well, do you have any questions for me? And I know, I know that's the thing where I'm actually supposed to have questions and I didn't have one. I couldn't think of one on the spot, so, oh well. Well, time to get out of this. Too busy working on stuff. I didn't realize it was closing time. Time to go home. Hi, church. Hey, Owen. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, how are you? Not gonna lie to you guys, I am late to my first class. Not a huge deal because all my assignments for that class are done right now. All that we're working on is our next lab, which it's student's choice, so really I can just pick whichever box that we've done in the past and work on it. Really, I'm late enough that I really don't need to go to the class, but I'm gonna go make sure I'm not missing anything important, and hopefully Paige is there. Paige is one of my good friends, me and her uh, interned at the same place over the summer. I don't think I've ever gotten you in the vlog before. So I completely forgot that um, my lab six, which I turned in the files, which we were supposed to do. So that's all good, that's on time. It's just that I forgot that I actually needed to cut these out and turn them in. Uh, that's not due to like next week, but so that's what I'm doing now. Just for uh, full disclosure, Tuesday is the day that I hate most out of my week. Two marketing classes, one the night class. There's no way I got an A on this. Sometimes instead of going home, I take my lunch over at the uh, student center. Usually either get pizza or Alfredo or some sort of pasta or I get a burger. I'm not sure what I'm feeling quite yet. So this time I ended up getting a pizza, bread six, and a Dr. Pepper. It's not like the greatest food ever, but it's way better than the dining hall. Dining hall's bad. That's Kayla. That's Taylor. That's Kelsey over there. Kelsey, wave. There you go. The only silver lining on a Tuesday is that after work, 
me and my friends all get together and we go to Taco Tuesday. And we get tacos at El Caballo de Oro because those are the best tacos. So preoccupied. By the way, everyone, that's Michael. What are you doing? Michael, say hi. Hi. Just wait. Is that the Levi Grant show? It is the Levi Grant show. You're in the vlog. That's Allie, that's Zach, that's Casey, and that's Kim. Kim's not usually here, but she's welcome to be a Taco Tuesday. <laughs> She didn't Hi, Kim. ask her if she wanted to be in your vlog. Right okay. I'm sorry, Kim. Do you want to be in the vlog? Right here, why not? Hey! Right. It's your boy, Troy. What's up, YouTube? Um, here we are at the Bio de Oro. Just, uh, you know, splashing some... I can't wait to completely cut that from the vlog. <laughs> Please do. Thank goodness for Taco Tuesday. Getting a couple of nice dollar tacos and hanging out with your friends for a little bit. It's great. Well, that Tuesday wasn't too bad. Time to go to Wednesday. I have a night class. Dang it. I mean, like, come on, it's already dark out. Night class is over. Now we can go home and end the day. So yeah, that's that's Tuesday. Not really, not really a huge fan of my night class, but I have a group of people there that we just get together and get the homework done. So really, all I have to worry about is a reading and a quiz before next time. So that's nice. Also, we don't have that night class next week. So yes, one thing I wanted to talk about in this video, and it's kind of uncomfortable for me to talk about it. So just kind of bear with me. It's just an update on the whole me and Casey situation. Really, only two or three people have actually asked me about it. So I don't know if anyone like really cares, but this is just me. This is just me throwing that out there for the people that do care. It's complicated and it's entirely like a inner complication thing. The situation's fine. Me and Casey, we're hanging out, we're talking, we're in our group of friends. We're being very nice and civil to each other, which is something that I cannot really put into words of how grateful I am. Too many times in my past have I seen people who said they cared about each other and then after the breakup just be like absolutely vicious to each other, like calling each other names, all these like petty attacks, talking behind each other's backs, like that's just, ugh. So really all this update is saying that we're good. I don't really know how good, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm happy, she appears to be happy, so I think that we're, I think that we're doing all right. We still talk, we still hang out, but it's not like to the level that it was before we started dating. Like, I'm not expecting it to go back to the way that it was before we started dating, but it's just like one of those things that, uh, it's just, it's just different. Really, if there's any way that I can end this, it's just saying, Casey, I hope you're doing okay. And if there's ever a time where it seems like I'm kind of being a butt for no reason, just know it's not you, it's just me trying to deal with this kind of awkward situation. Okay, well, get ready for Wednesday. Another day. Very curious to see how this presentation's gonna go, because I'm not sure exactly how much effort everyone put into their into their uh, parts that they were assigned. Everyone got their jobs done, so now all we gotta do is stand up in front of the class and talk about it. That's Nathan, by the way. Nathan's the guy I work with. Presentation went pretty well. I'm hungry now. I'm starving. I had a peanut butter. I had half a peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. I need some like real food. This segment of the vlog is brought to you by noodles and bologna. Bologna especially. It can go well on its own or it can be great to accent your noodles or really any other food. Can we just take a single second to just talk about how beautiful fall is? Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. All these leaves are going to be off the tree real soon. It's going to start to look like that. So 
So most of the time outside of school, this is pretty much where I'm at. Just kind of like in this room with my computer. I got three screens. Do I need three screens? Absolutely not. Do I like having three screens? Do I like having three screens? Yes. Pretty much whatever I'm working on, I got that going on over here. Most of the time when I'm doing homework or if I'm doing some sort of design thing, I try to put up some sort of video something on there just to watch or just to have background noise on just to, you know, not have myself go insane. Things I watch on a daily basis in really no particular order. Uh, Philip DeFranco, Game Grumps. Uh, uh, what if a fun house has a gameplay or uh, just like a short I kind of I watch that I can I don't really listen to their podcast here I usually do that at work if let's play has a good one I'll watch that maybe one or two vlogs and then I'll hop over to Netflix and just leave that on I usually just pick one show and just run that out most of the time it's a show I've already watched right now I'm rewatching that 70s show but yeah this is where I do all my homework usually when I get home from work I have there's a couple of things I need to do here so I usually eat twice when I get home. I sometimes skip breakfast. Don't usually ever have like a big lunch. Like when I get home, I eat something and then probably before I go to bed, I'll have something else. Well, another day, I would say another dollar, but I'm not getting paid to go to school. Really good tweet I saw at one point which was you can identify my lifestyle choices based on how many meals I eat that don't require a plate I feel like they uh, hit the nail on the head with that one did you drive here excuse me sir can I see some ID do not take this the wrong way I love my truck my truck is the coolest freaking thing I've ever had Honestly, if I could drive it until I run into the ground, that's the way I want to part ways with this truck. I love it. Downside, it just guzzles gas. Like, it's like 60 bucks to fill up the tank, and I get about 450 miles out of it. Doing some quick math, that's about 17 miles to the gallon. I don't know that because I'm good at math, and I know that because the truck tells me that. Also, people were, uh, there's a church group that was trying to raise money to help people stop addiction. These people here, they're up. They're out selling this. Cool. So, I'm doing these with, is this in the book? I think so. I've been doing these, just like these directory signs for uh, our sports complex building and these little mailbox tag things. I've been doing this all week and I just got done with it, with it all. I'm like, okay, cool. It's good, I'm gonna get ready to send this off. And I was just going over the list again to make sure it's like, oh yeah, I got everything. I forgot that they need two of each for the directory. Like, it's not a big deal, it's just like, I thought I was done, and I gotta print out another one of these. That, and for some reason, the file didn't save, so I think I'm gonna have to retype everything. Or, like, that's the thing that really bugs me, is that I'm gonna have to retype everything out. We're gonna have to figure out our solution for this whole server mishap thing, because servers have been acting weird, because I think they transferred a bunch. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. And it needs to be fixed. Thursdays are usually pretty nice. They uh, they go by quickly. But the best part about Thursdays is after work, me and Owen go over to mom and dad's and we have dinner. So I get to see my family, I get to see Roxy, and I get a nice good meal out of it. So This is like my favorite part of the day where everyone else has already gone home, the lights are off, everything's locked up, but I gotta wait like an extra mm, two minutes because I started an engraved thing just a little too late. It makes me feel like I'm a hard worker that I put the time in even after I'm off the clock.
What are you excited on? How excited are you? Are you very excited or slightly excited? Oh my gosh, you're very excited. Hi, Mia. Hi, Roxy. Oh my gosh, you're getting good. Oh my, okay, you can calm, calm down. Hey guys. How's it going? So most of the time, Fridays are my favorite day of the week. One, because it's the end of the week, but two, because I don't have any classes. All I do is I come here and work for eight hours, or seven hours, seven and a half hours. Anyways, I just work all day, and I love it. Reason right now, uh, today is not really the, the best day. I could not wake up this morning. Like, I missed boot camp, which is the first time I've ever missed boot camp, which I feel terrible about. And two, I was I was late here. Like, I, I was like 15 minutes late, and I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, I slept fine. I just couldn't wake up. It just sucks, man. Whenever I'm like late to things to, like whenever I'm like late to work or I miss things and I don't get up, I just, it just feels bad. It just doesn't feel like a good start to the day. And it's kind of already put me in the, yeah. I just feel worse about myself, you know? But hey, day started, can't change this morning, so. Let's get to work. Keep moving forward. Oh boy. <laughs> All I'm doing today is reorganizing back here where storage for all of our plaques, acrylic awards and stuff. Like anything acrylic awards or anything that we use pretty often, we stick right in here. Got a couple of plaques down there in case we need some, but if there's anything like really big or uh, something that we don't use quite often but still like comes in for orders, keep back here. Got this shelf, that one, that one. That was a complete total mess. This is here where we keep all of our frames for uh, all of like signage and stuff, so stuff like this. I don't know if this is interesting or not, but this is what I enjoy doing, so just bear with me. It was a complete and total mess. Um, Larry's still out, and so I thought it'd be kind of cool if I, uh, thought it'd be cool if I came back here and organized it and surprised him. And I was like, yeah, hey, look, it's all nice and clean. Fun thing is that Larry actually came in and was like, yo, hey, what's up? I'm like, you're not supposed to be back yet. One minor change from my usual uh, Friday schedule is usually I work all day Friday, but today I came to the tech center. I'm here in the photo studio because I'm helping a buddy out, oh, buddy, friend, helping somebody out with a photo shoot. But you can't tell what I am yet. Photos incoming, eventually, at some point. I don't know. I hope I get to see them. She said she needed help. Uh, she asked me to be a model because no one else wanted, uh, no one else either would do it or wanted to do it. So here I am, being a good photographer helper friend. <laughs> Hi there. That's, that's my week. A lot of people have given me some strange looks on my ride home, I'm not sure why. Anyways, check back with you guys next week. Later. See, the sad thing is, is that I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna complain about not having a lot of time but people are gonna see this and be like, you have plenty of time, you're just lazy.